Okay, uh, hi everyone. Um, you might know me as the Dark Lord 5, but, um, yeah, you guys like that EXE tweet, so I'm gonna do a tutorial on how I recreated in FL Studio. Now, keep in mind, this is not a 100% accurate recreation because, uh, you know, Dylan does it in Audacity. So, I'm going to show you how to do it in FL. I'm not going to give out the FSC. I'm just going to show you what effects I use, um, how I did them, and um, you can do it yourself. I don't know, just don't be lazy, I guess. So, first you want to take your audio file. So, I just have... Um, like to do it to do an exe voice, you kind of just have to do like I just do like a sonic with like a whisper and a little more um, sinister. It, it sounds like this. <laughs> You're too slow. Wanna try again, pal? So you take this audio file. You'll need three separate instances of it. Make sure you set it to a mixer track. So make this unique. And also make this one unique. Now for now for the normal one, pitch it down. Um, depend. So I tend to pitch mine down about two hundred. <laughs> um, you can do it as much as you want. Then take this one, pitch it two semitones down. So make this one four hundred, and turn the uh, and turn the uh, volume to about. 50%. Leave this one at, you know, 78. Now for this one, you want to do it all the way down and pull this volume to about 15%. So you'll get like a... <laughs> You're too slow. So you've already got that chorus effect. Now, I'll open the, uh, I'll open the uh, effects here and I'll pull it in here and show you which one. So first of all, you take this, um, EQ. Now, I put the bass up here, and I pull the sub down. Um, next, I have a little bit of sound goodizer. Option A, pull that down to about here. Then, vocal decks, the weird whispery stuff. Now, you can turn it up and down. I like to leave it at 100, but if you want to be f funny, don't turn it any lower than about... 90 to 85 so we'll do 100 um now fruity flanger um this is all stock plugins um you don't need to like buy anymore fruity flanger these settings you know seven milliseconds delay 10 milliseconds death 0.44 hertz all that and we go to um let me put it i put it on the master um so you put it here Get rid of my master, make sure you don't put it on the master. Unless you want to do your effects on the master, go nuts. I don't really care. So you get Flangus, and um, it's this thing. I don't remember the exact preset, but you could just turn it into this. So I tend to turn the Flangus about here. Now, Fruity Chorus. There's a lot of choruses, but trust me. All right. A little teeny tiny bit of delay, a little bit of death, all this. And um, I would turn it down to about here, maybe closer to 50. Then we have another E, not another EQ, um, reverb. Now, um, I normally leave it like here. I turn the wet down a little bit. And then we add delay. Now you don't want to turn delay, so I would turn the delay level down to about nine. You can have a little less if you want, it doesn't matter. I'll put a 9. Then we'll have another EQ. I know this this looks stupid, but trust me, I, th that's just what I like to do. You can, you can change these effects to how you want. And then finally, just some soft clipper and uh, boom. Now for this part here, I've accentuated the high, the mid, and I've turned on the low. So I just died. Done. 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 And uh, when you put them together, <laughs> you're too slow. Wanna try again, pal? And that is how I would go about doing the uh, Sonic Dirty XC effects in FL Studio. 
do them yourself, I really don't care. Um, well, uh, have fun, I guess. Bye.